this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 Building 101 video. Today I'm on Scarlet who is now level 45. Today's video is about things that you can do with walls and I wanted to show you how you could put double walls on your camp so you could put wallpaper on the outside. Now this is the second attempt at this video because I did do the video um, and rendered it and was about to upload it but we had an update from Bethesda and they disabled not so much the ability to do it but the most common way of doing it they've disabled that. What you used to be able to do in 76 was overlap two doorways and then you could replace them with any wall but now you can only replace them with any doorway and you can't replace walls with doorways however thanks to other members of the community um, and I saw it on a video from TNG there is still a way to create double walls Now as you can see the cabin is mostly wood but these two walls are brick. I'm just going to store that door. Now you can still replace a doorway with another doorway. So if you want to change up your camp you still can using this method. What you can't do is change a window to a door or a door to a wall or a window. Now for the double wall trick we're going to need to destroy the walls and at the moment as far as I'm aware this only works on the brick. I like that one better. Now presumably because the brick worked originally for a doorway you can still use the double door trick. And there we there we go, we have wallpaper potentially on the outside and on the inside by overlapping these doors. But for these walls we're going to have to do something different. To destroy a wall there are two ways of doing it. You can either get a friend to initiate PvP with you and once you're in PvP with someone they can destroy items in your camp so you can get your friend to destroy the walls that you want. The other way is with a flamer trap. Now if you haven't seen a flamer trap before this is it you need a generator to power it. Now the flamer trap as far as I'm aware the plan is available from doing Abby's quests. It's the last quest. Abby's bunker is in the top right of the mire and um, unfortunately as I found out this week because I've had to do it on Scarlet to get the trap you have to do Rose's quest. You have to go up to top of the world and do Rose's quests before you can do Abby's quest. I hate Rose's quest, I find it the most boring, annoying quest in the game and I've had to do it three times now, although at least this time it worked. On Nora I ended up having to do it five times because every time I got part way through, when I logged out and re-logged in, it would reset the quest back to the beginning. So to complete that quest on Nora I actually had to spend four hours with a friend doing all of it from start to finish. <coughs> You may be lucky and find a plan in a player vendor, but I've never seen one. Alternatively, you may find that if you know someone that's got it, they may be able to build it for you in your camp if you're on a team. And that would have to be 
the old style team, not the new public team. To be able to build it, you also need three cards. You need two levels of home defense, which is in agility, and one level of fireproof, which is under endurance. Luckily, doing all those quests on Scarlet actually gave me three level ups, so <laughs> that worked out quite well. I don't know if this is going to work on a window. Um, I have tried it on a plain wall. Now I actually use this technique anyway to make double half walls, so we'll give it a go. See what happens. Your flamer trap will deteriorate over, y over time with you, so you may need to repair it. And there we go. So there we go. We should have... If we go in, you will find that this wall is still broken. You need to go up to it and press A to repair it. And now we have our double wall. I will show you again on this wall. Because we're creating double walls and you may find that you need to add another uh, floor piece to the side, but, but we'll try it first of all without. Yes, it won't go on. What we need to do in this instance is we need to add a floor piece because this second wall is obviously clipping to this floor piece. If we go in and we repair the original wall, we have our double wall again. Oh, with wallpaper on both sides. Now, I'm not that keen on the brick for outside pieces because of these corners. But I have seen in another video from Wasteland Doverkeen that if you have a blueprint of two pillars you can actually I think I need another piece of floor if you are going to build a double walled camp it's always worth checking and I usually do because normally I build them I don't convert a, a building into t double wall, I plan to build it with double walls so I make sure there is enough space around all of the walls to put an additional floor piece. Now I don't know if this is going to work in this instance because you should really do this at the beginning before you put the walls in. We might be lucky. And it won't let me put it down. I think we've got this glitch again here where if it tells you that you can't place something, it doesn't matter where you place it afterwards, it will still keep telling you that you can't place it. Just take the top pillar off and we now have a better corner on our building. It goes quite well with the grey. So 
So I'm going to continue around and do all of the full walls using this technique. So as you can see I have now gone around and replaced all the full walls with these double walls using the flamer trap. Now we have to move on to the half walls. Because I've been using the flamer trap a lot and having to keep storing it to switch it off I've actually created this little contraption <laughs> so that all, everything's um, together where I need it and I have actually blueprinted this. So we're going to go ahead and flame trap this half wall here. And now we are going to put in a half wall facing outwards. We have to run in and repair this broken wall. And we have our half half wall double sided. Again I've had to put a floor down and we're probably going to have to do that at the top as well. To do the triangular pieces I'm going to take this roof off and just store it. Now hopefully these triangular pieces should just double up. These used to be able to snap straight in. It might be because I've got a double wall here. I'll take this one off for a sec and see if we can. Oh, am I doing the wrong piece? Nope. Oh, it's never ending, isn't it? Well, in this instance, it looks like we are actually going to have to flame a trap. I will double check. These uh, brick walls are quite thick, which is great for camp defence, but not so great when you're trying to do. So that wooden piece will go on. like they may have nerfed this as well. Normally um, the triangular pieces would just slot straight on top of half walls. I just assumed this would work so I haven't practiced this bit. I guess what that means is we're going to have to flame a trap the half wall as well. The reason the box is on the rug is so I can do this. Unfortunately it's probably going to take out the wall I just repaired. That's fine. Right, we're going to need to repair the bottom wall first so that there is something for the other one to sit on. And we need that one there. So it does mean more work and to a certain extent you may need, you may end up needing to spend more resources um, 
bit. It will be worth it in the end, or I hope so anyway. <laughs> Right, we need to take this off the box now. And I'll go around and do the last one on this side. Remembering you can't switch switches on in build mode. What I should have done actually is put that on the box. Remembering you can't pick up the flamer trap while you're not in build mode. Just sometimes pause for a bit before it starts up again and it seems to take a few seconds to switch off as well but hopefully because it needs to be repaired what this means is um, now presumably this one won't go on because there's no floor there so I'll just put Obviously afterwards you can scrap all these extra floors if you have them. I usually just carry one around the building. I'm going to put... That one on. Have I got that the right way around? Yeah, I think so. In my previous video of this I did have a few problems getting roofs on these but we'll see. Yep, that one will go on. Right, I'm going to take my weird contraption upstairs and pretty much do the same to the walls upstairs. Again, what you may need to do is put a row of floors Oops. around the outside um, because they're half walls may be difficult to move one about so I'm just going to stick these around the outside. Obviously on a large building you might have to do this bit by bit because of resources and budget. Now because these walls on this side are actually going to be hidden by the roof of the porch I'm not actually going to bother double siding them. I'm not quite sure what will happen if I try and double side this if this is only a singular piece but, but we'll try it and see. So I'm just going to carry on and take these walls out and I will return shortly. One of the things I have been trying to do is to line the flamer up on a seam, see if I can destroy two walls at, walls at once, and when I've been successful at lining it up, it's work. Unfortunately, as you can see, my flamer trap has been destroyed. 
and it takes one aluminium, one oil, one rubber and one screw to repair. I'm going to try and repair the, um, uh, destroy the window wall. This is probably going to take this lower wall out as well, but we can always just repair that if necessary. <laughs> it's quite cathartic actually. Ooh, I'm going to get that roof. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Right, switch it over. And as you can see, I have a great big mess up here. Right, let's get repairing and replacing and adding. So I'm going to do all the lower walls first before I tackle any of the... Making sure that the wallpaper side is facing outwards. Ooh. For some reason... This one will not go in. If in doubt, always try taking the roof off, except you can't, apparently. Oh, you can't take these roofs off until... You Oh my god, my furniture. Again, even though it was switched off. Okay. Not quite sure why this one isn't going on. Maybe that. Nope. Trouble with some of these things is you end up taking down half your building trying to find out what the problem is. Um, I'll try taking the roof off. I am going to scrap this wall replace it and destroy it again. I'm a bit concerned that this switch is not working very well. Reason this one will not go in. Oh, I know why. It's because we don't have a double wall on the bottom. There is always a solution. <laughs> so I will quickly replace this wall. I need to get the flame a trap. I know, matey. See the health bar of the wall going down. Useful. Put you there. Run back upstairs with our little contraption. Obviously this is a learning experience for ev for everyone, um, it's going to take some time to get used to but I have faith that the community will do fine with this. Um, Bethesda have come back with an official response now saying that they are going to
see if they can create double walls. Um, but... It's not just double walls. And um, there, are, there are other things. I have found a couple of ways to do other different things. And once I've finished this building, I will show you how to do them. Now, I believe, because this isn't double walled, that we will struggle to get another half, a double half wall on top, like what happened here, because there wasn't a double wall underneath. It wouldn't go on, so we will see. Uh, oh, actually it will. Uh, now, the only thing is, though, we need it the other way round which might be a problem we need it so the wallpaper faces out so yeah we are going to have to double wall this one it's interesting watching the health bar go down And hopefully we can now no. Now I have a problem. What I'm gonna have to do of course is <laughs> oh, lose the will to live. Um Oh, you know what? That is actually right. So, I'm going to have to put these walls back again. Oh, it will be fine. It will be fine. Although, in theory, now I've done that, can I just slot a half wall in there? Oh, I can. There we go. Right. Let's repair this. Let's right. I am confused dot com. Right, that's that one is facing outwards, but I can't get this one on there. Oh, because I have already done it. I destroyed it, didn't I? This is why I'm getting confused. I just need to repair that one. And there we go. We have that doubled up. So we go around. It does get confusing. I'm not going to make any more blonde jokes. could edit this all out and make it look like I did this perfectly first time but I think I'm actually going to leave in my fumblings. <laughs> I think sometimes they're more helpful. Put the roof back on and put that wall back in. There we go. I'm going to take my contraption down. I'm going to put some wallpaper up just to show you that this is all. Um, I, I tend to like the plainer wallpapers. Um, all the solid colours. I don't mind this pattern. But I find for some reason a lot of the solid pattern wallpapers. The pattern is too big. If you were ever a little girl <laughs> and your father got you a doll's house and wallpapered it. 
the wallpapers sort of remind me of that of kind of human sized wallpaper patterns in dolls houses some of them so I quite like this one I'm going to take this outside Oops. repair that wall it's all wallpapered the other thing we need to do is take all these upper floors off and we are going to carry on and wallpaper around the rest of the, the house Oops, can't find it. There it is. Oop, I may have just done the inside on that one, so I might have to go back and change that. So all the bottom is done. I was going to do a contrasting colour on um, on the upper floor. I tend to like this dark blue or the grey. Um, yeah, the the colours don't seem to kind of match, but I think a lot of that is the lighting. Now, obviously, I haven't fixed these end pieces yet, and I can't quite reach that to get. Okay, I don't think that matters so much on the front. Because of the porch roof. This end piece would probably be fine. You'd just need to take your take your roof off, take your flamer trap up there, and it's on a double wall. This one, because it's floating, um, you would need to put a double wall in underneath it to be able to put the double wall on top and then remove those, don't repair them I guess um, or just repair them and remove them to get the double and you need to get the flamer trap up there if you don't have marsupial you can put some floor pieces down and a ladder that should be pretty straightforward I do know from my previous video when I did this that when I after I'd done that I could not get this pillar back in using the two pillar free place method I had to actually put up a, a half floor across here and snap that on because it wouldn't go through the double thickness of the wall here So there we have it. We have a house that's double walled with wallpaper on the outside. And obviously you can do whatever you like. If you want something in neon pink or nuka shine, then the sky's the limit. I quite like this wallpaper. It's a Mothman one. I haven't really used it much yet. Hmm. Before I started recording this video today, I did decide to have a go and see if I could replicate um, a few other things that we used to do. And I have had some success, so I will show you. I've worked out a way to do a hanging half wall. If you um, follow Wasteland Doverkeen, who um, I do, and I play with her in the Let's Play. Um, she recently did a video where she showed you how you could make um, a sign using a floating half wall. And because you now can't drop half walls off roofs, that looked like that was redundant, but I have figured out a way to make a floating half wall, um, which is,
You place a half wall there. I think from now on I'm just pretty much going to be using the brick pieces because we know they work. I will experiment further when I have time and resources. Obviously I'm on one of my lowest level characters. Um, so I don't have as many resources. I can experiment more on my main. So you place two half walls together like that. And you get your flamer trap. And hopefully this will destroy both of them at the same time. Right. Now move this out the way. We can remove the foundation. We can scrap the bottom one because it's broken and repair the top one. Obviously if you want it lower down, scrap the top one, leave the bottom one and now you have a floating half wall. So if you want to do, I think it's probably too high to do this but I will show you anyway. If you want can't see the top but if you want to make a sign I'm doing this very badly and very quickly just quick and dirty just to show you you now have a floating half wall you have your sign so you can put welcome to my camp etc whatever you want to put on it <laughs> the other thing that um, I have had some success with is when I did the fashion at camp I had a very uneven um, surface and I um, wanted to cover the foundations and this is also a trick you can use to create a safe area for your crops Now, this may not work in all terrains. It's going to be, you're going to have to be very careful with this. But at the moment, it is sort of a fix, which is how to get floors, uh, walls to the floor. So, I've had a good go at this, and this is the best I can do at the moment. It doesn't mean necessarily that I won't think of a better way of doing it. Right, this foundation is not high enough. I need to be able to get this piece on. This piece allows you to re reduce the height of your foundations by half half a tile or the height of a half wall now what we're going to do is create a double wall now I apologize if you're a beginner um, and this video is too complicated. Um, I'm assuming a certain level of knowledge here. Right, so we're going to destroy this wall. Whee! going to remove our flamer trap create 
a double wall. Then we have to destroy this wall as well. And you'll see why in a minute. Pretty much broken broken um, brick walls are the new doors as um, I saw a video yesterday say um, and that is true she was showing how to do the double wall trick with, with the brick walls now half walls will no longer snap under full walls but they will snap to foundations so we're going to remove this foundation and we are going to snap looks like my flamer trap has self-destructed again we are not snapping this half wall to the bottom of this wall we are snapping it to this foundation But, of course, what we can do is we can destroy... whoops, yep. I think I'm going to have to be stocking up on stuff for this. Because that's destroyed, it's not counting as an object anymore in the world, so we can actually remove that foundation. Now, we can repair all of these. Now, obviously, in this instance, it does not go, because it's on a hill, all the way to the bottom. But if you want to build in a high level area and you want an area that is safe to build crops in, to grow crops in, um, you can do it. You don't need the internal wall for that. The reason that's there is, I really hope this works. <laughs> You can add a foundation under because the foundation is is clipping to this in a wall and this is how i did the fashion act camp so you can put wallpaper on to cover high foundations now it is a bit of a pain but in that particular camp although i did it all the way around and all of the half walls would go in really quite small spaces I really only needed to do it on about probably half a dozen um, and I do like the effect of so there you have it I still use doorways um, I still use doorways for something um, oh, <laughs> except, right, I'm going to take this foundation out, won't let me. For some reason it is not letting me put wallpaper on the bottom of this wall because it's not selecting this wall, it is actually selecting this foundation. So if you are going to do this, put your wallpaper on first before you put the foundation back. <laughs> And to take that foundation off now, I would presumably have to... No, it still won't. I'd need to destroy all this. But I know I have done this previously. If you put the wallpaper on before you put the foundation on, it will work. As I was saying, I still do use doorways occasionally. I use them as placeholders. So that still works. I recently built 
um, a round camp in a very hilly area and I had to um, remove a middle foundation which in this instance it, it will work but you may find sometimes when you're building that you get this situation where it will not remove a foundation and it is infuriating it wants you to remove them all in the order that you place them but to do that you'll lose the position that you want so I can I do sometimes use them as as placeholders because you doorways will still float and foundations will still clip under them so this was the way I managed to create the shape that I needed to do my round camp because I couldn't remove the foundation in the middle so doorways still float and they still work as placeholders obviously if you're doing the, the jug round camp um, foundation um, you can't use doorways now well you can but you will not be able to convert them to anything else so I suggest if you do that that as I said earlier broken brick walls the new doors well I hope that's given everyone some ideas and um, hope for the future that that we're, we're not we're not done yet um it will take a little bit of adjustment and apparently a lot of aluminium rubber oil and screws but <laughs> uh thank you for t to tng i saw his video yesterday morning about how to do the double wall trick i know he got it from someone else and i'm sorry i can't remember who that was and I would also like to say, Bethesda, what TNG said. Thank you for watching.